Hi everyone! This is the second part of my series on social media and influencers. I have done a first video on social media and how to understand social media, how you can reclaim that power that you have over your own social media and your behavior. So if you want, you can watch that video first and then come back to that one, although there, you know, you can, you can still understand what I'm going to say here. So a little story time about me. I have been a model for seven years now and I've recently become an influencer or a content creator on Instagram. This is my main source of income today. Because of COVID, I'm no longer working as a model full time or not as much as I used to. And it's great that way. The two activities are pretty much similar because in both activities, in both jobs, I sell my image to a brand in order for them to promote something, their brand, a product, anything. The only difference is that when I was a model, I didn't have a say, I didn't have a voice. And with my Instagram, I have uh, more power over what I say, over my career, over what I do, what I want, what I don't want. And it is less, less, less strainous on the body. Modeling was hard and led to a lot of problems like eating disorders and just an overall stress on the body. I'm going to start by making a long, long disclaimer because funnily enough, when you open a conversation on topics that are very uh, trendy these days, I mean, a lot of people have a lot to say about social media and with great reason. I think it's wonderful to question ourselves and question everything constantly all the time. This is what I'm doing right now. Um, but when I say let's discuss, I think some people misunderstood that with um, insulting me because they don't like what I do or they don't like me, I don't know. But um, they, they don't understand my job and so they uh, judge and insult. This is not helping whatsoever. This video is there to give you as much info as I can. I feel like there is a very opaque veil around social media and working on social media, hence creating misunderstandings between you, us, the whole thing. And also share with you the reality of my job, which you may not see which you may not know. I'm going to say a couple of negative things about this job because, and solely because, when I did my little survey over on my Instagram, um, I asked what was your feeling towards social media and influencers and a lot of the answers that I got sounded like, um, Oh, you, this is just like a perfect life, it isn't fair, you live in a perfect world, but we know it's fake, it's superficial, it's not, yeah, it's not fair, it's not a real job, you don't work at all, it's blah, 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 blah. So what I'm going to say here will sound negative, but I just want you to have, you know, both versions. I love my job, it gave me great opportunities to develop myself, to understand myself better, it is a great way to connect with people and creatives, making friends, sometimes. It's just a job like any other and there are a lot of good sides and some bad sides. It brought me a lot of wonderful things in my life but it's also very hard and I'm going to explain why it is. As ever, this is only my opinion, my experience, so it might Cipher from somebody else's because this is just what I experience. So I cannot speak for everybody. I can just give you my insights and I hope you understand that. So yeah, let's get into it. How does it work? What's my job? Basically, I'm being paid to promote brands via sponsored posts. And I, I, I explained that in the first video. Um, and how it works, basically, 
is you can work as a freelancer so you would have the self-employed status you have to pay a certain type of taxes um etc etc you you have to be registered as a self-employed person worker i personally am signed in an agency that specializes in digital communication I am exclusive with them. I signed this type of contract, which means I cannot work outside of them. I am not allowed to um, work with other agencies if it doesn't go through this agency that I've signed with. And it's called V Management. It's a great agency. It's, it's all over my socials. They are the only ones that can represent me and make me work with brands. And for that reason, they get a commission that is between uh, 20 and 30 percent and all agencies have the same commissions they all take between 20 and 30 percent uh, which is lower than most modeling agencies in france actually um, when you are a model and you're signed with a french agency they take 70 percent out of your income that 70 is perfectly explainable because in France we have a lot of different taxes including like an employee and employer tax that you have to pay and they take this out of your salary. But this is for modeling. So influencers usually get less taxed because afterwards they have to pay by themselves. I'm talking for friends. We have a lot of different taxes. It's, it's the most taxed country in the world uh, let's say a client wants to promote a piece of clothing they're gonna go through a casting of people that could represent the brand as best as they can they will ask agencies or people directly like do you have anybody that could fit to the brand this is who we are this is our identity who can you recommend uh, to us that can you know match with our beliefs image blah blah it is a casting the choice for the people that the brand is going to book relies on two things first the image is the image matching and also the stats statistics very frequently uh, my agency will ask for my statistics on social media and instagram um, when you have like a pro account you have a rendition of how your account is working how many likes how many comments how much time people spend on your page like how many accounts you've reached um who is following you primarily you know women men where are they from blah 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 and this is all data that the brand is going to use in order to target an audience via your account let's say i have been booked i have been confirmed for a job the client will send me a brief with all the info that i need in order to create the content for them um they're gonna give me inspiration do's and don'ts what they want to see what they don't want to see um maybe some words that they want to um they want me to kind of embody they're gonna give me as much information as they can for me to create content that will fit what they want and what they need for their digital campaign yes they can sometimes put words into your mouth and it is our job to say when this is too much when it, it, it does not resonate with us or if it's completely fake and wrong to promote something that we know is not the case then i will shoot the content and i will send the pictures to the clients and they approve it I have to post it within a couple of weeks and that's it whenever the post is up then they can pay me no one pays on time no one this is how it goes um it is the exact same thing as when i was a model i would have a mood board before the shoot the only difference is that when i was a model i didn't have a say i could not negotiate i could not think with the clients keep in mind that i know who my audience is i know who is following me because i interact with my community i know who's gonna be interested in the content that i post or not so i have to keep you guys in mind when i when i work with the brand i have to 
really make sure that what I do will sound, will be genuine with what I've done so far. Like this is really, you have to combine your personality with the brands and some brands really, you know, we vibrate the same way and some, some it's harder. Like it's, you, you can never know when you sign a contract. A good content creator to me is somebody that keeps their audience in mind and is not just after the money and will post anything just for the cash, but also knows what their community is interested in and if that makes sense to work with a certain brand. Now, working on Instagram, as you may have seen, is a lot about the daily, the lifestyle. Most influencers will share their daily lives. This job takes up way more time than we might think because it is an everyday thing. Every day I have to think about the next job that I will have to create content for. I also need to think about new content, like unpaid content to, you know, stay um, genuine and continue to create that world that I want to share with you all. So it is on my mind all the time. There is no definite line between work and life because somehow these are enmeshed and it's like your daily life is also your job so you can never really rest some days are easier than others some days you just cannot stand yourself but you still have to create content because that's your job. Imagine having to work with yourself, your image, your body, your face, your joy, because people want to see joyful things. Even though some people try to open the, the conversation on, on things that are not so cheerful and not so perfect, and I think it's great. Most of the time, when you're in a bad place, you just don't want to post about it. And it's absolutely normal. It's, it's, it's protection. And I think it's, it's important to keep that in mind. Yes, you will see only the best out of people's life. It is just the, the peak of the iceberg because we're humans and whenever we feel bad, we're not going to post about it because we have to manage those feelings just like any other human being. So yes, in the end, it contributes to people only posting when they're good and when something great happens. And, and so what you have when you look at their page is just the best. So you think their life is always the best, but it's, it's just not. I think it's nice to have a bit of balance and some people are great with uh, reminding their audience that it's not just rainbows and, and a wonderland. I think the main thing to keep in mind is that it is not just black or white. We have to understand that, as I said in the first video, we created that. All of us, humans, have created this platform to be a potential career for others. We couldn't make a career out of it if there wasn't any demand for it. We are in a transitional period where new jobs, new activities will see the light of day. It is not just uh, being a teacher, a lawyer, a doctor anymore. Another thing that makes this job very stressful is the pressure. There is several areas where the pressure can be felt. Um, the first is with yourself. The best statistics we have, the more we are likely to get booked for a job and so make money. So. We have to make sure that our content is um, quality content and that it gathers as much engagement as it can. There is a pressure to only perform well, getting even more engagement and getting even more followers. And it isn't conscious, but it is it is there. We know that the best we perform, the, the, the higher we we go. It's like a promotion. It's just like any other job. If you if you work in an office, when you make more numbers, when you when you perform the best, you get promotions. I explained the dopamine effect in the first video, but this pressure is there. I can tell you, like speaking to my to my friends and colleagues, um, 
it is hard to constantly think about posting something. It is hard to constantly think about the next picture you're going to post and if it's going to perform well. I agree. There are worse things to think about in life, but I'm just saying once you're in that bubble, this is what happens. I think there is an equilibrium to be found and it is a daily promise that I make with myself to understand that this job is temporary. There is also a pressure uh, from the brands when you have like 10 brands for whom you have to take content for. All of them have something to say. They sent you the clothes yesterday and they're already asking for the content like for the next day, but you also have to shoot all this stuff. It is hard. You have to get organized. I feel like brands also forget, brands and people forget that this job is very time consuming and they don't understand. They think that it's only about uh, going out and taking a picture. It takes five minutes and that's it. It's it that doesn't it's not like this. It's not like this. You have to think ahead. You have a lot of things to do at the same time. You also want to live your life without thinking about taking pictures and brands and people think that it's just us living our best life, walking in Paris, taking pictures as we go. I say it is very naive to think that way. It's a lot of organization. So everybody asks for you to perform the way they want. They ask for you to have the content ready the next day in a week. They forget that we have other brands we have to take care of before. They, they, it's, it's, yeah. It's not just living your life getting paid. Also, once you do a little bit well, um, every day you are approached with countless brands wanting to gift you something and I'm going to say a little word about it. Okay, this one is going to be... I don't know if I'm going to be liked by the community because I'm going to say that, but everything you see on social media if it's tagged they got it for free doesn't matter if it's a restaurant they ate there for free if the if the restaurant is tagged they got it for free um, if they tag a brand they got it for free if they tag the jewelry they got it for free if they tag um, a hotel they stay there for free. Anything you see, we got it for free because brands want to promote brands, hotels, restaurants, wants your visibility, my visibility. So they gift things against a tag, a post, anything. I don't know if I'm right to say that. Well, I'll think about it later, but don't get fooled. Not one influencer pays for what they have. Unless they say it very clearly. Like, oh, I just bought this and assuming that they're honest. That doesn't mean that our opinion is biased. Like, I've sometimes, haha, <laughs> every day I get a lot, a lot of parcels coming in from brands. Things that I didn't ask for, uh, which I'm currently working on because most influencers get a lot of gifts. These are never gifts. The brands send this to us in the hope that we're going to talk about it. We are not contractually forced to um, post about it when it's gift. Um, but for example, if we're invited to a restaurant, we have to post about it. But it happened many, many times that I wasn't satisfied with the experience, whether it is like a treatment or um, some food that I got for free. I won't post about it if I think honestly that it's not good and not worth promoting. Jewelry that I got and that broke the next day, you will never see on my page. I hope that most influencers do 
the same way. I just want you to know. I, I just want you to know. Does that mean that everything is a complete lie? No. But you, okay, do what you want with that information. What I want from this video is for you to have as much information as you can to um, have or make the best decisions for you when navigating social media. And in that vein, because influencers are supposed to promote things, blah, 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 um, some brands want us to post things for free. Like they want, they, they clearly ask, like, how many times have I been asked to shoot like a lookbook for a brand? Like, oh, we'd love to shoot, uh, to shoot you for our brand, blah, blah. And in exchange, I can gift you like a piece of clothing from the brand. And I'm like, you want me to work a full day in exchange of a t-shirt? And it is labor. Like I'm when I work 10 hours for your shooting, so as a model, I want to get paid. And some brands think that a gift is enough to ask for favors. As somebody who works in the industry, I think it's hard to understand that these people are not your friends and it's not because we get gifted things that they like us for who we are and that they want to gift us. I hate the... I think there is a problem with the lexicon of this world and that's why it 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 gathers so much hate because influencer get gifted influencers are just people who work on a social platform who create content against money just like somebody that works in an office in, a, in an advertisement office or in communication or whatever but the gifts are not gifts because people on the other side of that gift expect a thank you they expect uh, something from us in return they expect to be to be seen on your page so it is not a gift i'm not i'm not making my i'm not making any friends with that video but i wish there would be more transparency i think a lot of people in that industry colleagues included close their eyes on the reality of the job and that's why it's 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 hard on on both sides we we forget that the second i i stop uh the second i close my instagram nobody will try and find me to to make me promote something if i am not of interest to them they will completely forget about me and I think some people have forgotten about that little detail. Nobody cares about you. If you have no interest to them, nobody cares. You know, the next person will come in and they'll turn to them if by any chance they are more popular, they, they reach more people, they have more followers. The, the, the spotlight will turn completely to them. I mean, I've accepted it it's it's i think it's a great opportunity to 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 be in this industry but we have to see also the limits of it and now i'm gonna go briefly into the, the 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 dynamics between people who make that industry possible so we have to remember a couple of settings the better we do the more jobs we have and the more money we get consequently I have come to understand that the people who work in this industry, colleagues, are not looking for friends because they are career driven and they think about their own interests. In turn, this is a very, very lonely word because the second you do better than them, you can see the jealousy, the envy, suddenly they turn their backs on you. Um, you do not have... It is hard to make real friends when most people think that success is limited and that your success is threatening theirs. I have been shocked by 
how envious people can be in this industry. And also the criticism that you get from the outside world, it's it's a bit, um, it's, for me, I'm still trying to think about it. Like I'm, I'm thinking as, as I speak and I'm, as I'm making these videos and these surveys, I'm, I'm also evaluating where I stand in, in this thing. Um, the amount of criticism that you get from, from people, friends, family, people who don't understand the, the inside, which can be very tough. I, I am uh, fortunate enough to be surrounded by wonderful people um, that have nothing to do with uh, influencing social media or whatnot. I have my friends and I have a couple of friends also in this industry. It's, it's, it's not just black or white, but very, very few. I can count them on like even less. I don't know if you understand where I'm going. All I want to say is that, yes, it is very tricky because you have to battle with brands who want to use you. You have to battle with people who want to use you. Um, and you have also to understand, constantly reevaluate why you do this. When I get messages from girls saying, oh, it is my dream to become an influencer. Tell me, how did you, how did you get there? I'm like, I didn't... <sighs> It's, it's a half lie because yes, I worked hard to, to get there, but I worked without expecting anything in return. I never dreamed of being an influencer. It just happened. It started to grow when I was a model and then I was like, oh yeah, there could be something for me there. And then I worked and, and I, I, I polished my Instagram and yes, I worked, but I never thought I would get where I am now, like I started a year ago, a year ago, I had like 50,000 followers. And now I'm almost at 400,000 in one year. It is great. And I'm so thankful. And I'm going to go into details as why I don't think it is. It's something that happens to you more than more than something that um, you want to do. Anybody that tells me I dream of being a model or I dream of being an influencer, I'm like, you have to understand that there is a lot of downsides that nobody tells you about um, and that will threaten your self-esteem constantly. So if you do not have the shoulders and the, 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 a thick enough skin to be in that world, be immersed in, 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 in there, you will suffer. It requires a lot of self-discipline to, to understand where you stand and a lot of, you know, constantly questioning why. I keep saying this, but I don't think you can make it out of life if you don't question the things that you do and why you do them. And that's why I want to open conversation on this. On the other hand, and I think, I'm going to end on, on a positive note. Why I'm doing this? Because you're going to ask me, well, Mara, if it's that bad, tell us why you're here. Well, first of all, as I said, it's it's just, uh, it, it finances my daily life. It finances my side projects, which I'm ho hoping you will see very soon. It enables me to live. And it's also something that I've always loved. I was a model. I love pictures. I love creating an atmosphere. I love, I love you know, getting into... I love creating content. I've done that for as long as I can remember. When I was younger, I had a, a blog and I would take pictures and I would, you know, th this has always been in me. And the main reason why I do it is because of you, of the people I can talk to. I get sometimes messages from, from people who tell me, you're like a big sister to me, you help me. I, I, or you inspire me to, to, to try out different things. It's the trust and the, the community that for me makes the whole job. It's, it's incredible. It's an incredible feeling for somebody like me who thrive when with people, who thrive out of social interaction. This has been one of the greatest things that could happen in my life because now I have a platform where I can share things that I have in my mind, where I can talk about things that are dear to my heart, mental health, um, spirituality, anything. And I will be forever thankful that this happened to me. 
I've met wonderful creatives along the way. This has opened so many doors for me, more than I can count. So yes, I, I love my jobs for that. When I have enough stability in my mind and in, you know, in my daily life to, to feel comfortable, it's wonderful beyond words. And it, it brought me self-knowledge, it brought me self-development. It's, it's, yeah, it's, what can I say? Um, but yes, it is not that easy. It is a job and all jobs have their downsides. With this video, I wanted you to know how it functions. Is it just wearing nice clothes and pretending I'm having the happiest of lives? No, it is a job. I'm paid to create content. I'm paid to, to promote brands. Anybody that works in, 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 the, in the advertisement field, anybody that has a brand is doing that. But somehow influencers get bashed and I don't understand why. Okay, I can understand why. I get that some people can can really fall into the trap of narcissism and it, uh, being on social media is, is fueling their insecurities or, I mean, th they are trying to make up for their insecurities by being on social media and getting validation, external validation. I get that a million percent. There will be those people in any field of life. It is, it is part of human nature. You just have to go around these people and, and make decisions for yourself. You don't have to suffer somebody that makes you suffer. You can just, you know, distance yourself. And it's the same on social media. Again, go see my first video if, if you want to know how to protect yourself. Now, I'm so thankful that I can share this with you. I'm so thankful that you are here to, to listen to me rant about it. I'm, I'm thankful that you trust me and in, in what I do. I'm thankful that you support me Without you, without the people who follow me and who interact with me, I wouldn't have this job. I, I simply wouldn't. So I know, I know it sounds like cliche to say, oh, thank you. It's all because of you, but it is, you know, we, we create opportunities for other people and maybe we should celebrate that and maybe we should choose who we create opportunities for. If it's somebody that has something helpful to say, again, engage with them, interact with them, prom like help them make a living out of it so they can help you in return. And you have the full power of who you get services from. When you pay for um, a content creator, whether it is on Patreon, or when you pay for small businesses, if you pay uh, people via OnlyFans as well, it is a service and you pay for it because you want them to continue to provide that service. Um, yeah, of course you send a message to those people who create and also the brands who will align with your demand. This is again the topic of my, of my first video. I hope um, you understood my position and where I come from. I will make more videos if you want to. If you have more questions, please send them to me. I can, maybe if I forgot something that you, you wonder about, I can answer it. Um, and you know, as I go, as I evolve, I'm hoping to maybe change my mind on, a, on certain things and to provide um, additional details. And it's constantly evolving. This is my opinion today in uh, May, 2021. Um, I'm hoping it will change. You know, constantly thinking about it and changing your mind and adapting what you thought was true when uh, being provided new information. This is, I think, a, a wisdom and, um, and a great use of our brains uh, as human beings. So please share with me your feedback, what you think. Tell me if you have more questions, I will answer them. Um, as always, I'm happy you are here. I'm so thankful that I have this community with me. Yeah, thank you. Let's talk about it again. Talking make things better. This is what I'm convinced with. And let's try also to educate ourselves to change the things that we think are wrong 
um, you know, our behavior influence others' behavior. So if there are things that we don't like in social media, I think helping to change that instead of bashing and hating and rejecting is the way forward. I'll see you in another video. And in the meantime, bisous.